Hey guys, what is up everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be doing a setup tour, which is something that I've not done in a very long time, but you guys have been asking for a lot, and I've really actually been looking forward to doing this video because a lot of stuff is updated since the last time I made one. Um, so actually just yesterday I got a new desk. I've been in a new room um, for about the past few months now, and I've gotten a lot of new stuff, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy this video. Um, I actually asked you guys on Twitter, and you guys said that you wanted something a little bit quicker, just a little bit of an overview, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be doing a quick overview of what the whole setup is. Um, if you guys would like to see a little bit um, more in detail of what's going on, uh, make sure you guys let me know in the comments, and I'd love to do another one. Um, but anyways, here we go. Here's the setup nonetheless. It is absolutely amazing, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support and allowing me uh, to get to this point where I'm able to have a setup as crazy as this. So I'm going to try to do my best. I'm not going to be able to get all the names of everything, um, but I should leave everything in the description and it might pop up on screen as well um, with all the different products and stuff. So anyways, let's go and start out. As you can see behind me, I have a pretty expensive green screen. It's pretty crazy. You use it, I guess, every day with a live stream and it works pretty well. It's actually two screens, as you can see. I actually got this one which is a little bit larger um, and I this was my old one um, and they're pretty much just green sheets like I literally just went to a fabric store um, and just brought some green stuff and it ended out working a lot of people always ask me what my green screen is and there's a lot of green screens out there that you know you can buy them and they come on stands and stuff and that's cool and all but honestly a green sheet works I got both of these for like five bucks each and they work fantastic um, as for lighting I have some pretty sketchy lighting but I am working on maybe getting some soft boxes or something um, anyways I just use these little lamps here um, there's something that I actually already had in my house um, and they were pretty well um, they've got some nice lighting and um, it lights it pretty evenly well enough um, that I can use the green screen when I live, live stream. You can see I have another one right here. So anyways, that's actually it for green screen lighting. Um, nothing special. I guess now we'll go and move on to uh, the desk, which is what you guys have been waiting for. So as you guys can see, this is my desk. Um, it is pretty crazy. It's kind of like an L desk, um, which I actually really like. Um, it's right in the corner of my room. Um, let's move my chair out of the way. It's, a, it's just an office. It's just an office chair. No, I'll leave it in the description if you guys want to know. The last time I did a setup video, I had a one computer setup. I now have two computers, a streaming computer and a gaming computer, and honestly, it's kind of insane, and I don't even know how to deal with it. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the front cam and show you guys a little bit more in detail of what is going on with my setup. All right, guys, so now the fun part of the video, we get to actually talk about what's on the desk and what's under it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start with what's on top of the desk first, and then we'll get into the actual computers and stuff. Um, so first of all, again, I'll go over this. I have an L desk here, which is super, super nice. Um, on top of it, I have three different monitors, as you can see. These two right here are two Dell 1080p um, monitors. I think they're 24 inches. I'll leave the product um, specs down below in the description. Um, and these both run on the gaming computer. Um, so while I'm streaming, I'll usually have the game there and other random programs there. Over here, we have the only monitor on the streaming computer. It is another 1080p monitor. Um, this one's actually an Acer monitor, while those two are Dell. Um, and this one, I'm not exactly sure of the inches, but I want to say it's 20. But again, I'll leave the information down below in the description. Um, so there are my monitors. In the background here, you can see that I have some acoustic foam, some red and black acoustic foam. I really like it. It doesn't actually fill the whole wall up yet, um, but I'm going to be ordering um, a few more panels to help fill it up. And um, it really does make a noticeable difference in this room. It, it's a pretty echoey room, and um, although I just got a few here, it's already helped out a lot. And I think covering this entire wall will... Um, pretty much fix the problem that I've been having. So as you can see on top of this monitor here, I do have a webcam that is the Logitech C920. Um, it is the uh, webcam that most broadcasters use. It's probably one of the best USB webcams out on the market. Um, and I've used it for a really long time and I really, really enjoy it. Um, I also have another, another webcam over here, as you may or may not be able to see, that is the Microsoft Life cam or something like that. That used to be my old webcam, but I now use it as kind of a, a backup camera in case something happens or if I want to use it um, to record a video or something or maybe just have a camera facing my setup for live streams because it just looks kind of cool. But yeah, between those things, I have some pretty good video capturing um, devices and then there's of course my iPhone, which I'm using now. Anyways, I do have a mic and boom stand here. This boom stand is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. That is actually an MXL boom stand. I'm not exactly sure of the make, but I will flash on the screen. It does have a pop filter on it as well. Not sure what kind of pop filter that is, but again, I'll put it in the description. This right here is the MXL 990 microphone. It's actually a microphone that I recently got. I used to use a Samson G-Track, 
for a long time, but I actually upgraded this because this mic runs off of XLR, which is what I have upgraded to since I have a mixer, but I'll be getting into that a little bit later. Um, anyways, the MXL990 is an amazing mic. I really, really do like it a lot, um, and I don't intend to change for a little while. Um, it has a really, really nice sound to it, um, and again, it is a condenser microphone. It's just really good for streaming and broadcasting in general. Um, before we move on to the mixer, I do want to go and talk about um, some of the peripherals I have. Um, I do have two sets of keyboards and my mice for both computers. Um, this right here is for my gaming computer. I do have a Razer Deathstalker keyboard, which is RGB. This is the Razer Mamba, um, which is super awesome. I love both of those. I also have uh, moved my old um, peripherals over the streaming computer, so I do have um, my Logitech M310 mouse here. It's just a red wireless mouse. And then a wireless keyboard as well um, from Logitech. It has some white backlighting which is why I made those match this one. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I want to say this is... Oh, I'm not sure. I'll put it in the description though, but um, those work really well for the streaming computers. So let's get into, I think, one of the my favorite parts of the entire setup now, um, the mixer. This is something that I've really been wanting to get for a very long time, and it really helps my um, streaming capability. Both audio from the both computers and the mic all run through here. Um, as you can see, I do have some Audio Technica headphones that I just recently got as well, and I actually love these things. These are probably one of my favorite set of headphones I've um, received. They run off a, um, well, actually, you know what? I don't really want to do a product review video, but really quick, my favorite part about these headphones is the fact that they have this retractable cable um, that you can actually take out, and I'm not going to take it out now because it's kind of annoying to get back in. Um, but anyways, you can actually take out the cable and replace it with a different cable that has a different connector on it, which makes it super nice for using with um, computers and mixers and all that kind of stuff. Um, but anyways, enough about those. Those are amazing. The mixer, this is a Yamaha MG10. Um, it is a 10-channel mixer, and right now I'm only using about three, well, I guess technically five of them, um, even though I will be expanding all of it. Anyways, as you can see, my mic um, runs all the way around here through the desk and stuff to here channel one which is the XLR and I can change mic levels there um, the mixer itself has a phantom um, switch right in it so it's already providing uh, phantom power to the mic which is amazing channels five and six here are for the gaming computer audio and channels seven and eight are for the streaming um, computer audio and I can just adjust those while I'm streaming and it works pretty well um, in general I usually output audio straight from the mixer into my headphones and then I also have a secondary output up here that has a separate channel and separate audio switches which I can then send to James live that way he can hear um, different stuff coming from the streaming computer and my voice but not necessarily the same the sounds from the game which he might not want to hear and then I have the general output right here um, running into the streaming computer which you guys hear on the live streams so that's pretty much how the mixer works. I, uh, if you guys want me to go into more detail about everything and how I have my audio set up, I definitely can. Just let me know in the comments. Um, but that's just a basic overview of how, of how everything works. Um, anyways, back here you may or may not be able to see I do have an Xbox controller. Um, it's just a wired Xbox controller that I use for games like uh, GTA, Rocket League, and all that kind of stuff in general. Um, so that's pretty much most of my setup. Over here I have a few um, other accessories on my desk that I don't really use that much, but they're still part of my setup and um, I think they're worth mentioning. Um, so anyways, I have a Launchpad Mini right here, which is not in use now, but I can use it for a soundboard or maybe a MIDI controller to change scenes um, just by the press of a button with X1 stuff, um, but I do have some plans for that and I'll be using it at some point, I just don't have the time to set it up now. And then I have an iPad over here which I uh, normally use just to keep the stream running on mobile, make sure everything's running, and a backup for chat, um, so that's always running with me. Um, but anyways, that's pretty much everything on the top of the desk. As you can see, cable management is okay, it's not great, but um, it's not the worst either, it's much better than my old setup. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get below the desk here and show off my two computers. So first of all, uh, let's get some lightings. So as you can see down here, cable management is not great, but it's not the worst either. As you can see, the table itself comes with these really nice clips um, that kind of hold the cables in place, but it's uh, still a little bit of a mess. Um, anyways, uh, this computer right now here is actually fully custom. Um, I've replaced every single part in that computer and um, it's pretty crazy to think that I pretty much built that whole thing. Um, this computer is something um, that I've recently got. Um, it's actually a pre-built computer. It has an Intel i7 in it, not a great processor, 
um, but it's an i7 nonetheless, um, and it works very, very well for streaming, because the streaming computer doesn't need to be great, um, it just needs to, you know, be able to run everything pretty well, um, and it does. I'll leave all the specs for the streaming computer down below in the description if you want to check those out, but it's a Dell computer, it's a Dell Precision T1500, I think, um, and uh, it, it works pretty well. Uh, both these computers are running off of Windows 10 now. Um, I did upgrade to that, and um, I'm enjoying it pretty much. So this computer, I, I will also leave all the specs in, um, but it has this beautiful case. Um, I believe it's a Trooper Junior case or something, and it's got this really nice red LED all around it, um, and it just looks really, really nice, um, and I like it a lot. Um, so that is pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this setup tour. Again, it was a little bit rushed and quick, um, but that's kind of how you guys said you wanted um, for it to be. If you guys want more information or want a more detailed video, just let me know in the comments and I'd love to do another one. You know, the last setup tour I did was in March of last year and between now and then, so much has changed. And it's absolutely crazy. Um, so thank you again for allowing this all to be possible. Um, uh, if you guys did like this video, I encourage you guys to leave it a like. It lets me know that you guys like seeing these things. Um, and uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I will say that there should be a channel update video going out on YouTube in the next few days. So be looking out for that. Kind of talk about what's going on on the channel. And the fact that we're about to pass 10,000 Twitch followers, which is pretty crazy. So thank you so much for that. That is all I got for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.